Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is kind of, this video is just going to be like a vloggy, um, me randomly talking and showing you random things <laughs> type video. I really miss vlogging. And to be honest, I have tried multiple times in the last year to vlog. But something always happens throughout the day where I just forget or get flustered with the kids. <laughs> Specifically the little one. Um... I don't pick the phone back up to record, but I'm gonna. I'm doing it now. This is only. This isn't gonna be like a daily thing. It's already. It's almost seven o'clock at night, in the evening. But I just got done recording a couple of videos to put out in the next couple days, and I wanted to show share with you guys some things. Just cause I miss talking to you guys. So for the people who don't enjoy things that aren't crochet related, <laughs> this is not a video for you. However, there's gonna be a little bit of crochet content. So, you know, use your own discretion <laughs> on if you wanna watch it or not. But for now, I just wanted to show you a couple things that I purchased recently. I'm going to put you in my spice cabinet. You're going to be leaned up against the onion powder and... What is that? Paprika. I've started... Don't fall. I've started purchasing these bigger containers of seasoning. Because I season the heck out of stuff. Like, I'm not one of those white people who just use salt and pepper. <laughs> that is not me. I, I, I've heard it on TikTok. If you're not sneezing... It ain't seasoned or something like that. <laughs> uh, that is me 100%. You can ask Devin. I don't believe there's any such thing as too much seasoning. I use it all. <laughs> and I love making like blends. Like I have one right here. This is in a ranch container. I still gotta get this label off. But this is a rub that's like a brown sugar and spicy. I love this. I put this on just about everything all the time. <laughs> I love this a lot. It's my favorite. But I'm starting to upgrade. As they run out, I'm buying those big versions because we use so much seasoning. Um, it's more, it's better, more cost effective <laughs> to buy the giant ones. I just hate, our Sims Club doesn't have all the seasonings that I want. And that's kind of annoying. Um, they also don't have, like I bought, I did the same thing with the brown gravy. I bought the back, big one. They don't have the chicken gravy one and I use that a lot in recipes. And on chicken, you know, I like, I like, I like to dip my food. Okay, I'm overweight. And there's a reason for that. <laughs> it's because I like food. Uh, a lot. I, was, I wasn't I was raised eating, you know, bland, boring foods like some people. <laughs> I was raised eating good old southern food. And um, I did upgrade, though. I don't deep fry stuff hardly ever. I use the air fryer. So, to me, that's healthier. <laughs> and we did get a grill. We went half with my sister and her husband to buy a grill to put in my mom's house. Because <laughs> we hang out there a lot. So... That's going to be healthier, right? <laughs> Anyways, speaking of family dinners, we, we have a family dinner at my mom's house every other weekend. Usually Saturday or Sunday. Well, you know, it's the weekend. Usually Sundays, but sometimes it's Saturdays, depending on what everybody's doing. And uh, so me and my sister, we just brainstorm on meal ideas. Like tomorrow, we're having one, and it's going to be chili and like the fixings. And I'm also taking uh, hot dogs and buns so people can make like chili cheese dogs if they want. Um... You know, we're going to be taking cheese and sour cream and, you know, all the stuff people like to put in chili. Cornbread, I'm going to make some cornbread for it. Crackers, you know, all that stuff. So, I wanted to get some, uh, last time, two weeks ago, we did hamburgers and hot dogs. We did pizza one time. We did tacos one time. That one was nice. Just stuff like that. You know, we do things that's easy to make for a pretty good group. It's not a lot of people. It's here. It's my mom, my stepdad, the baby, my baby, Jesse, me, Devin. My sister, her husband, their son, and my brother sometimes can make it. So, that's like 11 people. <laughs> and the kids, you know, they either eat or they don't. So, I wanted some cute little serving things. And these ones are, like, specifically themed for summer. But they're cute. I wanted them to put, like, uh, you know, like when you make burgers, you slice up tomatoes and onions. So, it's a little set at Walmart. Let me show you. I, got, I bought two of them. This is the unopened one. <laughs> It's got, they're watermelons. <laughs> it's got this big uh, tray and then these three little bowls. And it's a Mainstays brand and it was only seven something. And they're dishwasher safe, which is a bonus. So here they are opened. The little bowls. I thought this would be good for like, you know, shredded cheese, onions to put on, whatever. Little things like that. Pickles. Things of that manner. And then the bigger one you could put, you know, like if you're doing hamburgers, you could put uh, sliced up tomatoes onion slices, things like that, or, I don't know, see, I didn't think about it, but, like, tomorrow, when we're doing chili, I can, after I make the cornbread and it cools down a little bit, I can cut it up into rectangles or whatever, 
and stuck them in here, you know, just so it's kind of cute. It won't always be on theme though, because it's watermelons. I'd love to have something like this that was just like solid brown or white. It would be cute. Um, you know, just to serve things in. I thought they were cute. I wanted them. <laughs> and they were cheap, I thought. I thought seven dollars was pretty good for these because they're adorable. I love them. But we're also been talking about doing like movie themed ones. You can find a bunch of them on Pinterest. Like there's one that's Monsters Inc. themed, and then you make little treats and finger foods that kind of goes with the movie. And this would be cute for that, you know. But anyways, I just think they're cute. This set I already washed because I bought it the other day. This other one I just bought today because I was like, you know what? I could use two of those. <laughs> so I still got to open it and wash it before tomorrow. I don't know if we'll need both of them, but I'm going to take both of them. <laughs> so um, I think that's just cute. And then also we, we have bird feeder outside on our back porch. We had two, but a squirrel knocked down the little one, I think because it was lighter, and broke it and took all the food. <laughs> it took a lot of it because squirrels are evil, but they're cute. So we got this big one that a lot of birds come to. We love it. I love watching the birds. And we actually had compliments from two of our neighbors, two different neighbors. One, the one right across from us where we're sitting on our porch and she's sitting on her porch. We can like talk to each other because it's close, you know. Um, Jessie plays with her grandkids sometimes. They're about the same age. Uh, she complimented me on that. And she said she likes watching the birds in the morning. And uh, we have another neighbor who's kind of far away <laughs> but I guess she gets out and walks a lot she smokes uh she's an older lady she complimented me too she said that they like I guess her and her husband like uh to watch our birds <laughs> eat the feeders at the feeders so I'm guessing they get out and walk around in the mornings maybe uh and she randomly brought me a book one day I don't have it with me it's in there but a big old book of North American birds and she said that she wanted us to have it because we feed the birds <laughs> so that was really cool I actually have this one too I got this off Amazon I was using it today <laughs> Uh, all about Tennessee birds and there's another one it's a National Geographic one that's North American birds I think but I got this today because we we had a new bird and <laughs> we bought some new uh, bird seed the one that we bought um, we normally buy the songbird one I think and uh, recently when we ran out we bought the fruit and nut one I was like, well, what the heck? <laughs> we'll try something new. And uh, it brought a new bird. So we thought that was cool. It brought, it brought a... Um, I'm trying to find it. I think it was called a brown thrush. Yeah, thresher. Brown thresher. It's right here. It's not the best picture. But it was that same bird. They were so cool. It's about the size... It's a pretty big bird. It's kind of the size of a mockingbird or a grackle. Um... So it's pretty big. It's got a long tail feather. It's brown and spotty. White and brown, white and spotty. <laughs> and it's got really bright yellow eyes, which is really cool. And we'd never seen one of those out there before. So it was really cool that that brought a new bird. <laughs> it says in this little book here that they normally eat bugs and small salamanders, frogs, snakes, and lizards. But that they also do like um, fruit and berries. So I think the fruit and berries, they, it must have smelt it or something. Or the bird talk, maybe. <laughs> Um, I swear they talk about us, them birds, because the other morning, yesterday morning, early, uh, what was it, early, because it was after June woke up, and then she was down for her first nap, I went outside and, and filled up the bird feeders, and they were just all over the place back there, and you, I could hear them just talk up a storm, and I was like, I know that they're saying that I'm filling this up. <laughs> Anyways, all that to say, today we bought another feeder. This is a, I think it's a suit, suit filler, I don't, a feeder, I don't know how to say it. We used to have one of these, but it kept getting knocked down in the wind, so I'm going to have to see if Devin can figure out a better way to hang it but this one is a double one it holds two of those little things <laughs> so i do got to peel the stickers off of it and uh, get it ready to hang out there i definitely have to hang it up because it's, it's short i can't reach the top of the porch and i don't want to climb on the step ladder when i'm here by myself because if i fall i'll be laying out there until someone finds me and i don't want to do that and then we bought two of the little things to put in it these are not the square ones these are round ones but we checked in the store <laughs> before we bought them to make sure they fit and this one is mealworm kind of gross but uh I thought it said on it what it attracts but this one doesn't anyways it's got a bunch of sunflower seeds and millworms which is kind of gross and then this one is songbird <laughs> so um I don't know maybe it'll help bring some more birds for everybody to watch since our neighbors like watching our birds too <laughs> I always call them my birds uh, if I hear them too I'm like oh my birds are out there <laughs> But I cannot wait till we get a home and have a yard. Because I told Dad, I was like, I want all the bird feeders. Because <laughs> it'll help keep snakes away. And uh, bugs, I guess. I don't you know, I don't want to keep all the bugs away. Because a lot of bugs are good. But mostly the snakes. 
because I know that works for sure because my sister uses bird feeders. If she doesn't have bird feeders in her backyard, she has snakes really bad. And when she started putting bird feeders out, they ran them off because snakes like to eat eggs. So the birds run them off, you know. Uh, I don't like snakes. <laughs> I'm not a snake person. I don't want anything to do with them. So if I can run them off, I don't want to kill them unless they're the poisonous ones and they're like too close to my family. Venomous. Uh, which we have three here. Two here. We have rattlesnakes and copperheads. And we, su we supposedly have water mos mos moccasins, <laughs> but I don't know if we do. And plus, we don't live near water, so I don't know. Anyways, I've seen copperheads before, so I don't want that near me or my kids. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to run them off with birds. But, yeah, so that's my jamming. Now, I'm going to take you into the craft area and show you some other stuff. I'm just going to pick you up and carry you. So don't throw up. <laughs> Get you out of the spice cabinet. Oh, we got this. I got this, but you know, it's from the kids <laughs> for Father's Day for Devin. It says daddy stuff and it has hooks to hang like keys and things. And this top part is a hat holder because <laughs> Devin always wears a hat. Those, it's from the kids, but I bought it for him, you know, but it's from Etsy. And uh, I got my lights on still in here. Put you down. Okay. All right. Let's see here. So what I want to blab about now. <laughs> is I have been trying to save containers from seasonings and uh, things like that just to reuse them for other things, you know, to keep them, keep from throwing them away. And plus, sometimes you just need a little jar or something to put stuff in. So here are a few that I've been saving. I had to go to Walmart and get some goo gone <laughs> to help get the sticker residue off. And it actually works quite well. Um, I got it from the section in Walmart and hardware where tape is like duct tape and spray paint it's on that aisle if you're looking for it it's called goo gone but like for instance this right here is a was a bullion cube jar i like it because it's glass but it has a plastic screw on lid which is nice so i took the label off of it, off of it and it's been sitting for about two weeks now <laughs> so it doesn't smell like bullion at all I, I clean them and then i'll let them sit for a couple weeks <laughs> Nope, no bullion. <laughs> I wish I could find bullion in big containers too, like I was showing, but it shows it on Sam's Club online, but not in store, which is annoying. I hate ordering stuff and waiting for it. <laughs> and then this is a little tiny poultry seasoning, which I also love. I use it on a lot of stuff too. Uh, this is one of those little tiny jars. I saved it too, because you never know. See, it don't smell like it at all. You never know when you might need, and it's got the um, top up here, but it's kind of bigger. So you could put little beads in there, you know. If you're one of those diamond painters, I don't know. I've never done that, but maybe you could put those in there. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm going to use it for something because I like it. And then these other two. This is an onion powder one. These have my little sunglasses that I got for my random acts of crochet kindness amigurumis. So I'll put them in there. And then this one was a Hidden Valley Ranch um, powder container. <laughs> and I got the little bows in there. For also my amigurumis so it does also have like the things up here but um i probably won't use it i'll probably just um well i guess i could like i could just pull a little bow out of there if i wanted to <laughs> and it it doesn't it smells like rubber bands right now because each of those bows have rubber bands on them and i don't think my sunglasses smell like onion powder no nope. they smell weird it's like weird plastic smell <laughs> but uh i like doing that because then i don't have to like go purchase like a five dollar little decorative jar i just use you know i already paid for this for the food product that was in it and i used it so it's technically free after that you know um little containers and i'm thinking about setting them back there somewhere so they'll be kind of like decor but also um functional i've also seen where people like hot glue they spray paint and you paint this i guess you'd have to prime it first because smooth plastic or um sand it a little bit and then paint it and then they take like a uh, dinosaur rubber toys and things and spray paint them gold to make them look like you know metal and glued on there and it just fancy top i think that'd be cute too but not dinosaurs i would use something else i don't know but it'd just be a cute little project to do so maybe i'll do that one day who knows but i just thought that was cute i want to share with you guys it's a good idea safe stuff <laughs> oh, don't fall. yeah so that's what i'm doing i got a bunch of yarn pulled out right here because there's some amigurumis jesse wants me to make him and these are the colors he chose it's three different ones though so it's not all those colors together He's usually really good at picking out colors that go good together, though. That you don't think that they would. He's really good at that color theory, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. 
But yeah, so this is just a vloggy bit that I wanted to hop on here and share with you guys today. I did go to Hobby Lobby earlier because I had to purchase some fabric for one of my giveaway winners. Um, I didn't have any of the kind she wanted on hand, so I went and purchased it. And then I also bought, I don't know where it's at though, I bought some gold rickrack, which is like a uh, squiggly. <laughs> um, I don't even know, it's like borders or something. Um, for a project that me and my sister are going to start working on. That involves rickrack and felt and a bunch of sequins. <laughs> and I will definitely share with that, that with you guys uh, when we start on it and like the uh, steps that we do on it. But we're, you know, I ordered the sequins. I gotta wait for them to come. And then I, there's some uh, little beads that I need to purchase. I was going to look at the Dollar Tree because I know they got some little packs of little beads. So I wanted to see if they had the right colors. Um, and then I just have to get like larger pieces of felt. I don't know where you get... Larger pieces of felt. Maybe it doesn't have to be felt though. It could also be flannel maybe. I don't know. I feel like some craft stores do have big pieces of felt. I don't know. I'll look around. I have plenty of time because it's a Christmas project. <laughs> but uh, I would definitely share that when I hop into it. Anyways, that those little containers was the crochet portion. So if you're done, if you if that's all you care about, that's it. <laughs> oh, I did buy another container too. <laughs> For the family dinners. I don't have the lid yet. I had to wash it separately. But this is a container that you for you to put like um, things that needs to stay cold in the bottom. You put ice, and then there's a part that comes out of it, the tray. You can put you know fruit or whatever, and then like the dip or whatever in there, and then you put it on top of the ice, and it helps keep it cool. And then it does have a lid that goes on top of it, but it's over there on the drying rack. <laughs> but yeah, so this is just a chatty little video. I want to start doing these because I do enjoy just chatting with you guys <laughs> about random things in life. And I want to start vlogging again. And I'm, I really want to do Vlogtober and Vlogmas, of course. I, I haven't missed a single one of those. <laughs> this year will be my seventh doing Vlogtober and Vlogmas. And if you go way back to the first ones, it'll be when Jesse was a baby. <laughs> my Vlogmas and Vlogtober 2017, Jesse is under two years old. He, he'll be like a year and a half in vlogtober and then a little bit older in vlogmas so it's crazy you know to go back and see those old videos i don't know if i'm going to do vlogist in august this year it really just depends on how i feel how the kids are growing because that's, that's kind of coming up it's already the middle of june <laughs> and i'm going to be doing christmas in july but that's only like a weekly video for each collab so i don't know if i decide to do it maybe i thought maybe instead of doing a video a day in vlogist i could do I could film just random clips all week and then put it down on like Friday night or Saturday or something. I thought that might be easier for me because then I could just do a little bit of recording every day and then just mush it all together. <laughs> so um, I'll think about it between now and then. But I do love sharing my crochet life and my personal life a little bit, you know, obviously not too much. But anyways, I do enjoy it and we do get into all kinds of shenanigans around the holidays. We love Halloween in this house and we love Christmas in this house. So I'm already planning actually Christmas stuff. For the family <laughs> um that i was going to share with you guys too so i'm not going to talk about it but we'll we'll talk about it when the time comes which is coming up quick i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here now while they're gone i gotta start some laundry because it's gonna be loud i gotta wash uh some hand wash dishes clearing up my mess i just made <laughs> and maybe i can sit down for a few minutes and either crochet or play an app on my phone <laughs> and uh i guess i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and i'll see you guys in another video soon and maybe another vloggy top so, yeah, if you don't like vloggy tops, don't tell me. Just don't watch them. It's that easy. <laughs> Bye, guys.